A few weeks ago, I gave people the opportunity to ask me anything they wanted. They did. I answered, and I continued to do so. So let's not waste any further time. Here are the questions. Megalord says, well, since you made a video on SP3, show for Spider-Man 3, I would argue the same thing about Star Wars prequels and that they are not bad movies. Just most criticism to them is just not really valid. And well, my question is that, have you changed your mind on them? First of all, not great sentence structure. Secondly, no, I haven't changed my mind about them. I, I'll never change my mind about them. I, I just don't enjoy them as films. Do I think they're good movies? No, I do not think they're good movies. Do I think people have the right to enjoy them? And many do. Yeah, of course. It's, it's subjective after all. I think there are a lot of things in the Star Wars prequels that have charm and likability and have continued to flourish. You know, there's Darth Maul is a fan favorite. There's a lot of ship designs and world building and stuff that yada 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 people like and it's great for Star Wars, I guess. It's a kind of a weird thing though because when people say the prequels had such good world building, they, they added all these new things to Star Wars. Well, yeah, okay, but George Lucas could have made three other prequel movies that also had world building and weren't shitty, you know, with better acting and writing and, and story arcs, but whatever. I'm not here to crap on the movies. I just know. I defended Spider-Man 3 recently, acknowledging, though, that it really isn't, like, a good movie, per se. It's just one that I like. There's a difference, I think. Mike Vernon Productions asks, Revenge of the Sith? A Rise of Skywalker. Mike, I did a Star Wars ranking video. Did you not watch it? Or are you just trying to get me in some sort of a gotcha moment where I say one, and then you look back and say, well, on this ranking video, you said this. Now I could go look. I don't care. Like, Revenge of the Sith is easily the best of the first three, or of the prequel three, whatever. Rise of Skywalker is a shit show. It's a mess. It's easy to watch, though. It's stupid. It, I, like, it's just hard to say because I had no connection with the prequel characters going into Revenge of the Sith, and Revenge of the Sith was still pretty awesome. Rise of Skywalker, I had connections with some of the characters, but they were ruined in the previous film, that going into it, I was just done. I didn't care. So any sort of spectacle or wow factor, it was all just surface level. There was nothing else. There was nothing deeper there. And I, th that's kind of Revenge of the Sith, though, for me, too. I just, it's all spectacle. So really... I could say one or the other, but at the end of the day, I don't want to watch either of them. Dustin All Day asks, what's your favorite comedy movie, Adam? You know what, Dustin? I haven't sat down and watched a good comedy in a long time. I feel like they're a dying breed. They, they just don't make them anymore. At least not how they used to. I always, for the longest time, would say Dumb and Dumber. Um, I think I probably would still just go there. I, I don't know. Jim Car I love Jim Carrey. I think he's freaking hilarious. And Dumb and Dumber has so many quotable lines. It, Unfortunately, Dumb and Dumber is like a song that you've heard a thousand times. Like for me, anything by ACDC or Aerosmith and I immediately just want to shut it off because I've heard their music so much. And while it used to be amazing, I've ruined it for myself. So Dumb and Dumber is probably in that category, but it's definitely up there. A lot of Jim Carrey comedies I'm a sucker for. Um, I don't know if I've put together a top 10 comedies video yet. That would be pretty good. A lot of Jim Carrey would be on there. I, I think Zoolander's hilarious. I think Austin Powers is hilarious. Naked Gun movies are great. They all kind of have a similar sort of comedy style. And you can probably figure out the rest of my movies from that. Justin Golding asks, where is your favorite seat in the cinema? Front, middle, or back? And I saw in that comment, Justin had that beautiful, sexy Batman symbol next to him, meaning he is a uh, supporter on YouTube here. Via the join button, you can do that as well if you want. Become a Become a member, you get access to some exclusive videos, you get the the privilege of knowing you are helping out a, a fellow movie fan like myself. There was a different spot you were supposed to post this comment, and that's why you got forgotten until now. But you're here now, and that's all that matters. Even though you didn't follow the fucking directions. I want front and center in the theater. I want to be right in the middle of it, surrounded by fellow moviegoers, bathed in all the diseases and the p smells and the noises and the phones going off that I can possibly withstand. It's not ideal anymore, but that's where I want to be. I want to be dead center on that screen. If I have to go back further, I'd choose to go back rather than forward. If I have to go to a side, uh, I don't really have a side preference. I guess I like to look this way more than I like to look this way. Tyler Gable asked a couple questions here. Do you enjoy fishing or playing chess? What are your favorite hobbies aside from watching movies, shows, and working on YouTube? 
Well, Tyler, I have a lot of things I enjoy doing. Uh, for starters, I'm back on Pokemon Go. That's a thing I, I, I talked about last week with my kids. We're obsessed with it. I have a PS5. I'm one of the few. I'm one of the golden gods who was able to get his hands on one uh, shortly after launch. So I've been playing that a lot. I shouldn't say a lot. I, I like to pretend I can play games still like I used to, but I got too many other responsibilities. But I am a big gamer. I love video games. I have like the old school Nintendo and the Super Nintendo, like the minis. Uh, I have a Sega Saturn, I got a Dreamcast, uh, just a plethora of different consoles. Used to be a big Xbox guy too until the Red Ring of Death ruined my experience for Xbox ever again. It's a story for another day. Actually, I think I already ranted about it on my second channel, Adam Olinger. I don't enjoy fishing, but I go once a year. It's a family tradition. All the guys go up north to some rinky-dink little town and we fish. I did a video on that a while, like years ago, about the DNR experience I had. That's a pretty fun video. People like watching on my second channel. I have also been playing more chess recently. Connor really likes chess, so we've been trying to play uh, at least two games every few days at night. We like to play a couple rounds. He's getting pretty good at it, actually. Or maybe I just suck. It's, it's probably that one. But still, he's improving, at least. I also have been for the last couple weeks. Now, this is a secret. I haven't told anybody in my family. I'm, I'm learning the piano on my own. Yeah, taking lessons at home. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm learning the different, you know, the C minor. I'm learning the different flats. I'm learning the A, B, C, D, E, F, G keys, and then starting over. Uh, I'm learning uh, the staff, learning how to read the notes, not just memorize. So it's, it's, it's a project. I have a newfound appreciation for people that can play. Truly impressive. My goal is to become a master. Now, my goal is to just wow my family in like a few months, just start busting out music and, and, and beautifully singing, harmonizing with it. I think it would be just a just an awesome trip. You know, I also have a full-time job. I'm a web designer and developer, so I enjoy coding. Not, not like a lot, but it's a job that I kind of enjoy doing still. And I enjoy designing web pages and getting some of the satisfaction from people in liking what I've you know put out. Um, so yeah, I, I enjoy my job at least enough to, to want to do it, to get up in the morning, which is more than I can say for a lot of people. I enjoy working out every day in the morning. I enjoy eating food. Uh, I mean, I, I just try to enjoy life, man. We only got one of them. I'm a big Lego builder too. I'm not a big Lego builder. I wish I was. I wish I could dedicate a ton of time. I'm not creative though with Legos. I have to go out. I'm very much a manual person. I'm the instruction exclusive. You get me off the instructions, I'm pissed. If there's a brick out of place, I am not having it. I like putting together a fresh puzzle from time to time. I mean, yeah, I, I like a lot of things. I'm always willing to try new stuff too. Louis Five, or maybe it's Lewis with a five as the S, I don't know. Do you think the new Fantastic Beasts movie can actually be any good? I think anything can be good. The problem is we're now three Fantastic Beasts movies in and I don't give a shit. Like every time a Harry Potter movie ended, I was so excited for the next movie. Pins and needles waiting for a trailer to drop for any sort of announcement. Fantastic Beasts, I forget even exists half the time. And the other half, I wish I did forget. I think they royally fucked up on this and they should just scrap it all. Or at least make the third one the last one. And they're not. Although I do believe it was supposed to be five or six movies and now they've paired it back to four. But just be done with it. Rip the band-aid. Take the loss. They're not doing near the numbers Harry Potter was and that's just embarrassing. You can do better stuff in this universe. So stop giving me freaking Newt Scamander. He sucks. Ah, I, I can't. Tim M asks, how do you like your eggs prepared? Over easy, but I do have to have a meat product with them. It's tough for me to just eat eggs straight up. I need to like mix them with ham or mix them with some sausage or bacon. Just some sort of a meat, some sort of an animal that died for my sins. Uh, a company in that egg would be ideal. I always read this name as defiant in the comments, but I think it's definite. What was your first rated R movie? I don't think I could give you the true first R rated movie because I grew up in a time period where parents let kids watch everything that was on TV, which was everything. I mean, rated R movies were on TV at cable all the time. They just cut to commercial when it was too inappropriate, but there, there was still some scary shit on cable TV. And this was before they were going crazy and CGI towels around ladies and stuff. It's just weird what they do now. So I don't know the first true R rated movie I saw on TV was, but the first one I remember seeing with my parents that they rented was Robocop. And I think maybe Terminator, which came out first, Robocop or Terminator? 
because I know I've seen Term I saw Terminator very young as well. I just remember there was that giant machine with the Gatlin guns and I'm forgetting the name of it right now, but it goes into that meeting room and it's like, whoosh, 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 whoosh. it just starts shooting up the whole place. And my mom and dad are like, shut your eyes, kids, shut your eyes. So we're like, it's either RoboCop or Terminator, but the one that really stuck with me was T2, Judgment Day. Terminator 2 was so freaking awesome. And that was definitely an early R-rated movie, along with Die Hard, which, man, I still love Die Hard and Terminator. The Matt's channel asks, what food slash meals do you particularly dislike? I tried sushi approximately one time in my life, and never again. I didn't like it at all. Nothing about it uh, tickled my fancy. I don't particularly like raw food. And then dipping it in some sort of a sauce or sauces to mask the fact that it's trash. No, no sushi, no thanks. Old Stuff asks the hard hitting question, how much do you lift? Well, bruh, I assume you wanna know my bench stats when you ask that question, in which case I'll tell you this. Two years ago, I peaked out at 325 pounds. It was an epic day. It was amazing, it was perfection. Now that I've been working out alone at home for the last couple years, my bench has gone down quite a bit. I think, I haven't done like a, I haven't tested it. I haven't done a max bench because I don't have anyone to spot me and I don't want to die trying to prove something to no one. But I usually end my routine at 275. That, I do that twice. So if I were to try to max now, I don't even think I could hit 300. Maybe 300, but 325 is unattainable now. It's just, it's just like a distant memory. Phil Sinclair says, I need to hear your defense of Terminator Genesis and Dark Fate. I'm not actually angry, I'm just curious on your thoughts. I'm not gonna defend Terminator Genesis. I didn't like that movie at all, so I'm not sure where you got that intel. Never once stated that. Terminator Dark Fate I like. Well, I will straight up say that. And I've defended it multiple times on this channel, but if you need the uh, bullet points, um, it looks good. I like the characters, love seeing Arnold back, plenty of cool action, cool soundtrack. What else do I really need? Here's the bottom line. Terminator 1 and 2, that's really all for Terminator. Everything after that is just fan servicey bullshit. It's just, it's just fluff, it's just noise, and, and I can be entertained by it and not have to really get any more out of it than I need to. Terminator 3 is garbage. I, I don't know why people are suddenly like retconning that and be like, oh, that was a great movie. This is so good. No, it's really bad. And then you have people that are like, Dark Fate's woke and they killed John Connor right away at the beginning. That's just bullshit. John Connor was awesome. No, he wasn't. John Connor's always sucked. John Connor's not even in the first movie. He's a little, he's a fetus. Terminator needs to kill her before she gives birth to him. Second movie, he's... <laughs> Edward Furlong or whatever his name is? What is he doing? What has he done? Like he was kind of like annoying in that film. And then they've changed him two or three times since then. He's always a different actor. Christian Bale played him completely different. I, I, wh wh who cares about John Connor? We've done his story so many times, it's never interesting. So no, shut up with that woke crap on Terminator Dark Fate. Yeah, there's like one or two lines that you could be like, oh, oh, women power. And yes, the new female John Connor's lame. The 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 human hybrid Terminator chick is awesome. Uh, Arnie's freaking sweet in this, and yeah, he sells drapes. It's like a funny little joke. Who cares? The the first two movies are so good. Nothing else will ever live up to them. Completely jaded by this franchise. So if one comes along and it entertains me, I'm willing to say, you know what? That was good. That was fine. That's Terminator Dark Fate. All Around Highlights asks, what's the worst comic book movie you've ever seen? Spirit. Couldn't even get 10 minutes into it. It was so poorly done. And that doesn't mean it's the worst superhero movie. It's just the worst one that I tried to watch. I know Supergirl, there's a Supergirl movie back in this, the 80s, I think. I have to imagine it's just atrociously bad. At least movies like Catwoman with Halle Berry are so stupid they're fun to watch with like campy CG and acting and really bad movies in that category, but Spirit was just brutally bad. Bruh, Moman asks, what happened to your Twitch? Nothing, bruh, it's still there at twitch.tv slash Adam Olinger. I just don't do anything on it. Remember how I said I like playing games, but I don't have time to play them? Yeah, that's why. If I dedicated a night or two to streaming, that's a night that I'm not doing this or catching up with my actual job or seeing my family. So I had to, I had to pick and I went with YouTube. I went with YouTube. 
Twitch is so fun though that it's a shame there's not more hours in the day for me to do that. Maybe when my, you know, my kids are off living their own lives, living their best futures, I'll have a little bit more time and I can be like an old man playing Twitch uh, for the lulls. But right now it's just not in the cards. And I know people don't say lulls anymore, so thereby I, I guess I'm already old. Last question of the day comes from Mad. Is Marvel movie cinema? Is Marvel movie cinema? Are Marvel movies cinema is maybe what you wanted to say or ask. And that's still not the greatest question or sentence structure, but I'll go with that. Uh, yeah. Why aren't they? I never understood this highbrow cinema thing. I mean, there's so many definitions of cinema. Is it art? Is that what you mean? Is that what you mean by cinema? Or do you just mean, is it a well-made movie? Or is it a movie? There's so many ways to categorize. It's in the, th the it's something you can watch. So I guess it's cinema, right? Marvel movies, DC movies, whatever. Superhero movies you want to say, they all are pretty formulaic now. They have been for a while. Just like Westerns, just like horror movies, they all have tropes. They all have beats that they hit at certain times. Hot blonde females always make poor decisions in scary films. Superheroes almost always have bad upbringings and then they rise to overcome them. Or they have a haunted past or bad character that they need to overcome. Are they cinema? Yeah. Did you watch Endgame in theaters with the rest of the world? It was amazing. It was an amazing experience. Same with Infinity War. Same with a lot of Marvel movies from the past. They might not be brilliant films. They're not. They might not be deep thinkers. They're not. But yes, they're still cinema. They're movies that bring people in to their world to escape their shitty lives for a couple of hours. It was kind of like the whole our video games art argument a couple years back. Super stupid, super silly. Of course, video games are art. Just like movies, just like anything that people create. I, like, what are we doing here, right? Why are we splitting hairs over this? This is just nonsense. And I will have no more of this argument. Of course, Marvel movies are cinema. DCEU movies are cinema. It's all cinema. Doesn't mean it's good. Thank you once again for asking the questions. I feel good about myself. I answered quite a few of them this time. I feel like we accomplished something. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna take a break. Maybe do one of my other hobbies that I like. After, of course, encouraging you to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, notification bell, blah, blah, blah. And join me on Patreon. It's a, it's it's nice. It's nice there. It's nice of you to do so. It helps me out. One dollar a month, two dollars a month, or become a member here on YouTube via the join button. These are things you can do to help a fellow moviegoer who's trying to live out his best life right here in front of you. Take care.